Biocanic. Biocanics. Biocanic. Roll call 209 here. And I got a new gun. And this guy makes you buy canics. That's what he does. So I went out and bought a canic. This one is the TP9SF. I mean, there's tons of different versions of canics out there. If you go look at Obnoxious's videos, he'll show you every canic that was probably made in the past year uh, where he's uh, pretty much doing a... Uh, doing his thing with uh, them sending him all the all these guns this one i bought at a local store at shoot point blank they had a price tag of 329 on or 310 29 and when they rang it up it came up at 289.99 so basically i traded in that sd9 ve for this so hopefully it'll be uh something that i'll take to the range or maybe even carry at this point um it does have blacked out rear sight as you can see there with a front <clears throat> front white dot uh again this is the the canic tp9 sf we've had a couple of these in the shop way back in the day before the roco and uh they were pretty decent guns um Good triggers on them as we'll check the trigger pull on the firearm itself and it is unloaded there's nothing in there so there's a little bit of take up there all right it's the wall breaks the reset is pretty good that's the reset so it's got a pretty decent trigger in it from just messing around with it and uh came with two 18 round mags but this has an extension where i can fit the guy told me i could fit two extra rounds so that would give me 20 rounds in one mag and 18 in the other uh with one in the hole so it'd give me 19 rounds and 21 uh with one in the pipe with the other mag so there's a there's a ton of different types of canics we used to have the the special forces one uh with the red uh dingus in it and then we had these the the sfs uh there's quite a different amount of canics that have been made just over the past year and if you go to obnoxious's channel you can see all the canics that were ever probably made in life um so this was basically 289.99 which with tax came out to be 310.29 but with my trade-in value of the sd9ve it only cost me what 130 bucks 140 bucks if that uh to to get this gun it didn't come with anything just a bag uh let me see what i get on here uh let me get rid of this stuff so 160 bucks is what is on here so i paid 161 uh with some tax uh so with my trade-in and then my paperwork for it uh again it came from shoot point blank uh let me see if there's anything viable on here so i trade in the smith and wesson for 150 bucks of credit uh, they don't give cash anymore. Uh, when I I've traded a gun in there before and just got cash, but they don't apparently do that anymore, which you know it's fine by me. So now we're gonna go see if this gun will work. I do have some a little bit of uh, nine millimeter put in here, uh, put through the gun, and see how it performs. I pretty much traded a gun away that really served no purpose because i had a glock 19 at the time and my cz p10c and now i just i think i've upgraded to a little bit of a better gun than that sd9 but still falls in that same row of you know that well, that glock 19 that i had and then the cz p10c um it didn't come with any extra back straps or anything so what's on there unless i can find a place to order it from 
uh, is what I got to live with. The stippling on the sides of them, uh, that needs help. It does have some checkering in the front that does absolutely nothing. Uh, Picatinny rail right there for a lighter laser or whatever. It does have some serrations there that does absolutely nothing. Um, not quite sure how to take this gun down. Uh, but I think it's this these two tabs here. I haven't really messed with this gun since I got it. <clears throat> so what is this? It says fires without magazine. So it doesn't have a magazine disconnect. Let me see if there's anything else on here. It's from Century Arms. Uh, so Century, as you guys know, uh, they're pretty much like a Turkish kind of company. And a lot of people uh, gripe about it because Turkey sponsors terrorism in, in some aspects. And you know, a lot of people gripe about it. You know, you're, you're feeding uh, a country that, that thrives with terrorism uh, or is a sponsor of terrorism. Uh, I traded this gun in, so I be, it's, it was a used firearm, so I didn't help out terrorism in any way. But we're going to give it a shot here in the next few weeks. I'm really busy, really backed up in the schedule and uh, pretty much uh, stuck doing some family stuff. And deer season is right around the corner. And the mix into that turkey season is upon us for the, for the fall uh, for the fall stint. Which is only, I believe, a week or so. Uh, give or take, I'd have to look in my book and see. So this gun's probably not going to be shot anytime soon. Which sucks, but still, we'll have to deal with uh, what we got to do. Uh, again... There's not there's not a ton of features from it. It does have this little uh, pin in the back, which tells you if you have a round in the hole. And then when you press the trigger, it goes away. There it is. There it is. And then my, and that's how that works. Uh, it does have some memory uh, positioning here for your finger. Uh, and they. I guess they tried to stipple a little bit on there, but that does no good either. I think this is just a pretty plain basic gun. I haven't even seen if if it's been shot. Let me stick my finger in there. So it look how dirty that thing is. So somebody shot it. I mean, somebody shot this gun. So well, I'll probably have to get in there. I'll clean it out. Maybe put a put a mag uh, through it. Uh, with the way it is now and then put clean it and then put a mag through and see if there's any kind of differences or anything like that uh, with the firearm itself uh, I do I do have a light that I could switch out on my bedside gun and put it on here and and, and see how it reacts with a light uh, but I just wanted to get rid of that SD9 VE uh, very very badly uh, that was probably one of the worst guns that I've ever bought. If I do a top five guns, that's definitely going to be on that list of the worst guns uh, to uh, to have owned throughout the course of the time I've been messing around with firearms. So that's a little sneak peek of what I bought the other day uh, when I posted it on Instagram. Uh, another gun that I walked out of a gun shop in a bag. Didn't come with anything just like the Makarov. And the, the Beretta uh, model 1951. So uh, we'll give it a shot. It does have some serrations there. And it does give you a little bit of offering there to get a good uh, purchase on there. And they're pretty long. Uh, they even go down by the extractor here. I don't know if you can see that. So there's some serrations there. Um, looks like the, the, the sights are driftable. It does have a loaded chamber indicator probably right here. Uh, it tells you you have a round in the in the chamber. Um, got some, I guess if you want to do some press checks, you can press check it right here with, with a little bit of the indentation of the slide. All in all, it's a pretty basic gun. It kind of reminds me of my CZ, uh, but my hand doesn't fit as forward as it does on my CZ. And maybe we'll take this gun in, in the P10C out and we'll compare them and see... Uh, you know which one I like better to shoot uh, again the grips on it are nothing to write home about uh, I like the aggressive grip uh, just because if my hand gets sweaty or something I can still you know get a good grasp on the firearm 
but there's just really no help there. And I don't know if they came with extra back straps there or not. Uh, again, I just walked in there. And it was between this and a G2 or G3 from Taurus. And I own uh, quite a few Taurus firearms. But that G3 uh, that I was going to get, and I would have got it for a little bit of lesser money. Because I think they wanted $249 for that gun. And plus, with my $150 credit, it would have been even cheaper uh, to pick up that gun. But I'm not a big, you know, guy that needs the, the colorful guns. And this one was colorful. It had the most grossest slide color on it, which is like puke green. I don't even have, almost like some hunting camo that I have. Like, geez, let me reach over here and see what I got. I mean, it was probably... Uh, it was probably this dark of a green on a FDE frame. So the slide was like puke green on poopy brown. Very disgusting looking gun. Wasn't attractive at all. Yes, the G3 has been, been, has been proven to be reliable in the majority of vi videos I've watched. I've only think I've seen a couple of videos where they had some hiccups. And as they started putting a lot of rounds through there, it kind of worked itself out. So that was another offering I could have got or another Heritage Rough Rider. I'm not a huge 22 shooter. Uh, there's a lot of people out there in gun culture that are me. I, I just, in, unless I got to, you know, take a varmint out, some kind of, you know, raccoon or something like that. Uh, I don't really shoot 22. The kids don't shoot 22 anymore. They're shooting 9, 380 and things like that. 38 special. You know, all the stuff that, you know, is very rare to be found nowadays. <laughs> Imagine that, huh? So, we're going to take this gun out. Hopefully sometime here in the next few weeks. Uh, I'm going to have to score a little bit more 9. Uh, because these magazines are going to take a lot of rounds. Unless I just fill them up halfway. And just check functionality checks with it. Uh, I might look into a holster depending on how I shoot the gun, how good it is, and how it feels uh, as I'm shooting it. Um, again, it has a little bit of similarity uh, to my P10C. It is pretty chunky. This part back here reminds me of a, one of those old Walther PPQs, uh, which eh, that doesn't really help me much. Uh, in the terms of looks, I'm not a big fan of having that loaded chamber indicator in there. Just, you know, me checking checking if the gun's empty. You know, you drop the mag and you and you pull the slide back and, and look in there and, and see what's going on. Uh, be conscious of the firearm. Uh, I'll throw that extended mag in there. So, like, I don't even need that. Because, I, again, I don't have big hands. So having that extension on there just adds a bunch of length to it. So in retrospect, if I was to carry this gun, I would just carry it with the flush fit mag uh, for a little bit better concealment. It is a big gun. I would call it a full-size firearm. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it performs and, and, and whatnot uh, coming up here in the next few weeks. What else can I tell you about the gun? Uh, I got a decent deal. Plus, they gave me a free uh, a, a free uh, pass for a rain session there. And then I talked to him about taking a concealed carry class. Uh, because in the end, the, the place where I went and took my classes is no longer in business. Uh, which sucks because they went out of business right before the the OO uh, Roro uh, came sweeping through the country. And I think if he would have stayed open, it would have pretty much skyrocketed, skyrocketed his business and it would have took off. But that's what happens when people lie and, 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 they, and they cheat the system. All these politicians, you know, people start going out of business. So uh, it's really sad. But I talked to them about taking a class and they said, yeah, it's like I think it's like 79 bucks for a basic pistol class and i always like taking the ba basic pistol class just to keep me fresh uh, i am getting older and i'm just not the the greatest shot in the world so the more practice uh the better you are shooting is a perishable skill i say this uh quite often nowadays uh especially shooting uh when i get the time and see how bad uh i am in some aspects with guns uh, so that's always something to keep in, 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 in the perspective 
uh, while carrying firearms is to go take a class once in a while and, and really hone your skills. Uh, so we'll take it out. We'll shoot it. Uh, Obnoxious says, buy a Canics. Buy the Canics. The Canics are, are everything. Orange man bad. Yeah. So we'll go shoot it. Take his advice. Even though this isn't uh, one of the guns, I don't think he had this gun on his list of uh, many that he's reviewed. Maybe it was, maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, so I'll do some more reviews, uh, go through our, some more reviews on YouTube and see how other people like it, which, you know, which is going to be like, oh, this gun is awesome. So uh, I'll shoot it for myself and make the determination. With that being said, I'd like to thank my old, my new, just people, and zip through. Greatly appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, share your favorite gun content, uh, whatever platform uh, you use. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one. Bing, bing. Orange man bad. Orange man bad.